how do you view the campaign, the U.S. campaign? I view the campaign that all politicians don't want Trump in because he's more down to earth and says things the way they are. Trump just pretty much says it like it is. That's why I happen to like Trump. So Trump is not a psychopath who hates the blacks and is going to like no. totally no, turn. He's a desert. psycho, but that's what I love about him. He is, he's, he's not racist. Thank you. Any cool tats? Sick. Who took down the towers? The Muslims, the Jews? Oh, the, the Muslims. Muslims. Are bad. Not all Muslims are bad. Yeah. You know, but uh, how do you sort them out? I don't know. So, kill them all, I guess. Hey, I'm a Canadian, so I'm used to fairly friendly elections. Our last one gave us a hot prime minister who's a male feminist. But you Americans are fucking barbarians, and this election is a mess. So I figured I'd just go to America and figure out how this whole democracy thing works. I'm here in Boca Raton, Florida at a Donald Trump rally. It's pretty exciting. There's a lot of happy people who uh, have a big heart on for Donald Trump. I'm going out on a limb here. I have a feeling you're American. Ask me a question that makes a difference, okay? Why Donald? Why Donald? Trade, Carrier, Ford, um, Nabisco, just to name a few, packing up their bags, have gone into Mexico, making their wares, bringing them back across the line into this country. Our American dollars, when we spend them, we should be supporting America. I see too much of the people coming across and immediately taking welfare and food stamps and, you know, I'm paying for that. And I can tell who comes in with their food stamps and they need to go back. Now, I don't call it the White House, I call it Jihad House. Obama. Jihad House. What should we do with the Muslims in America? They love peace. When they love peace, it means they love the people in pieces. But they did invent hummus. No, hummus is a biblical. If you look it up, it hummus and falafel is a pure Jewish. Well, what about Baba Ganoush, though? You have to admit, Baba Ganoush is Arabic. Baba Ganoush is Arabic. I agree with you. But the eggplant is in Israeli. Tahini? Israeli. Sahalab? Israeli. Kebab? Israeli. Kube? Israeli. Hamantashen? Israeli. That's not pink, that's salmon, right? This is salmon. Why, why are you voting for Donald? Donald Trump is the new president of the United States. Donald Trump is changing the way politics are today. The American people are sick of the politics and what America has become. Donald Trump is the man that you need to run the American people. It's not only so much the American people, but it's the world. Trump! 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 Excuse me, do you like Trump? Sure, doesn't it look like I like Trump? How bad do you want the wall? Bad, and it's gonna be big. I mean, huge, big. What's the wall gonna do? It's gonna keep people that don't belong in the country from coming in. They're gonna stop the illegals, and you gotta come in the right way. Should there be a Canada wall? Those scumbags are coming in too. What? <laughs> Excuse me, what happened? Trump is a sexist pig of raped women. Sense, honey. You look like shit. Thank you. Donald Trump? He's a rapist. He raped his women. He's against women. He hates us. And all these people hate us, too. Back in the pen, camera down. Great to be with you tonight. This is incredible. It's not too far. This is my second home. I love Florida. mistakes are being made by the politicians. Too many mistakes are being made by people that truly don't know what they're doing. And we can't have it anymore, folks. We can't have it anymore. Okay, we just left the Trump rally. On this side of the street are the pro-Trump people. And on this side, my side, is the protesters. So let's go find out what is going on. 
They're mad because they're no longer in the majority. They're, no, they're mad because they no longer see themselves as the ones in power. Because black people and people of color is who put Obama in office. So there was, they saw that the power of the white majority gone away from when you voted last time. Because when you see the, 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 the typical black, um, the, the typical white male no longer holds the power they used to. So when you see that, of course you're pissed off. So when you're sitting behind in the back or you sit in the bar and you're drinking your beer with your buddy and you're saying, man, this country's going to shit. But it's not. But it's going to shit because you no longer see yourself in power. It's a motorcade. Trump's flying around telling everybody, hey, I want to make America great again. Guess what? America seems pretty great to me. Here I am in gorgeous Miami Beach, 29 degrees on this sunny, sunny day. My cock hanging out like a fucking schnitzel for everybody to see. Life is good. Vice has actually paid me to come here and do this. Thanks for the cash, Spike Jones. Trump, I don't know, would be interesting, but I, I don't think he'll get the intelligent vote. You know, he, he really doesn't have any idea what he's going to do with the country. He'll upset things, but Hillary, I don't know. She got too much in her closet. I don't think she's going to get it either. Probably the best shot would be Bernie. Uh, Can we see your dong? Oh, of course. <laughs> it's got a ring in it. That's smart. Uh, that's crazy. That must have hurt. It wasn't too bad. The nipple was much worse. But I, uh... That's a commitment. We are here at the Bernie... What? My hair's bad? Okay. I'm so I'll kill you. I'm not even joking. We are here at the Bernie Sanders campaign office. We're going inside to meet some of his supporters. Let's see what makes this candidate tick. I'm hoping that you'll go to the polls and vote for Bernie Sanders. How does that look? Wonderful. Are you going to be voting for Bernie Sanders? Oh, you did. That's fantastic. So you already voted and you voted for Bernie. Awesome. That is amazing. Fantastic. Bernie, thank you for showing up because you are the light of this country right now. I mean, I cannot tell you how much you mean to me. You're bringing in the, the golden age for America. You're the only one who's making any sense. Your record is impeccable. You were made for this moment and we're ready for you. Thank you. I wanted to go check out one of the alleged contenders of the Republican race, Marco Rubio, but I show up to the rally in his home state and it feels more like a funeral than a political rally. Here we are in West Miami at a Marco Rubio rally. It's his state. He's a senator for this state and this place is empty, and tomorrow are the primaries. <clears throat> He's lost, there's not winning. Like, there's no way in hell this guy could win. Jesus himself could come down and maybe... We don't know that. We don't know that. You, well... This could also be a David and Goliath story. So may God's favor blow upon him, and we may just win this election. You're talking to the wrong crowd. He's Goliath, I think. No, you're wrong. Please leave us alone. Uh, people are really grumpy here. Okay, let's find out what's going on. Will you vote for Trump if he's the nominee? You know, if if he if he drops out tomorrow, I will probably support Cruz, not Trump. Well, if, if Trump's the nominee, um, you know, are you what? gonna vote? I, you know, my dad, he, you know, rest in peace. He always told me I had to vote no matter what. But I honestly, he's making it really hard for me to vote. I don't know. I might stay home. Uh, I just ripped a Hiroshima fart, and I'm crop dusting through the crowd. I didn't mean to do it. I'm hoping it's windy enough so nobody picks it up. 
So here we are at the Marco Rubio campaign, and uh, I'm not allowed to tell anyone that I'm from Vice because Vice News got all upset. Oh, we don't want Kenny running around and ruining our, our accreditation. Oh, please don't let Kenny ruin us. Oh. Like, it's, it, what the hell? It's so embarrassing. Seriously, they, nobody, nobody respects me at all. Like they think I'm some hack trying to stir shit up. Well, guess what? I don't appreciate it, and I'm still going to get the news, even though my own organization is trying to stop me. I've gone rogue, baby. You think the cops are going to drag me out? I really don't think... I really don't think Rubio's going to win at this point. I'm really sorry. It's almost impossible. It's just not going to happen. Seriously, I'm really, really sorry. It's not gonna happen. Okay, gotta go. You think I could get an interview with Rubio? Is that possible? Sorry, private oh, no, man, 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 officer. Man, 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 man. What's happening? Can you tell us what's happening? I'm sorry. I'll move it for you. Sorry. Okay, go, go, go. Just ride down the street. Holy shit. <laughs> that was unbelievable. I thought I was going to get arrested. Maybe I went a little too far. Look at this, this is a polling station in Miami. For the US primaries, this is pathetic. Nobody is here, like what is going on? All of this hype is such bullshit because this is the reality, nobody gives a shit. Kids don't even give a fuck, they don't even know who the vice president is. <laughs> Garbage. What are your views on this year's campaign? It's a complete joke. I gotta tell you, it's a, the mudslinging and they're just beating each other up like sophomore in high school. I swear, it's just ridiculous. And the choices get harder and harder as they, you know, they keep bashing each other. Let's start talking about the issues instead. That's wow. pretty What does that say about America? It's going to hell in a handbasket. How does that sound? <laughs> uh, can I ask who you voted for? Uh, no. Okay. No, uh, it's your right. No, actually, Kasich. Okay. He's the only one that's not mudslinging. He's the only one that uh, that has. Uh, he talks about the issues and really what's wrong with the country. And he's not he's not beating anybody up, and he's not yelling and screaming and acting like a child. Are you going to support Trump if he is the candidate? I will support the Republican candidate because uh, I don't like Hillary, and I I really don't trust Bernie Sanders. I I think he's just he's just flying by the seat of his pants most of the time. Flying by the seat of his depends. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> what do you think of the issues? The wall, Mexicans, Muslims. Come on, please tell our audience. You know what? You know what you get for that? You get killed. Go, Rocky. This is hard core media. There are three rows of trucks, truck after truck. Here we are at the Hillary Clinton rally. Supposedly tonight she's going to claim victory over the state of Florida. It is packed. This is crazy. They actually let me in and I was really worried that they knew about the Rubio thing last night. So I thought I, I totally screwed myself for the rest of the campaign. Turns out I'm a D-level celebrity and everything's okay. Look, here we are with CNN. I have actually graduated to being a legitimate journalist for the first time in my life right now. Derek, photobomb, CNN, CNN photobomb. No way, I'm not getting, uh, there's no way I'm getting kicked out of this event, forget it. She's live on air, I'm not talking to her, are you crazy? Go talk to her, yeah. Yeah, I'll see you in Guantanamo. Boring.
boring. Your host is the only journalist in the world who was leaving during Hillary's victory speech. All right, I want to interview you, sir. So, what is your stance? What is my stance? Well, I think my stance is for the Constitution, freedom of speech, and transparency. Who was the mastermind behind 9-11? It's just, it, it, it's more than one person. It's a, it's a, okay, I'll give you one. His name is Lucifer. We'll start there. Is Hillary Clinton Satan? Do you know that she would go to California once a month during the Clinton administration and join a witch's coven? So we're basically in Trump's house. Uh, Trump just gave his victory speech for accepting the Florida nomination. Uh, this is insane. Okay, first of all, young lady, where are your parents and why is someone your age allowed to wander around alone? My mother and father let me out once in a while. You are an Amber Alert waiting to happen. <laughs> can I come hang out with you and drink Chardonnay oh, with the girls? God. Well, I don't drink Chardonnay, but you can what come. Do you hang drink? Out. What, what do you drink? <laughs> a lot of water. Oh, really? <laughs> a lot of water. Well, that must be the secret. Well, you look amazing, honestly. Oh, thank you I'd be the, I would be the best 10 seconds of your life. You are oh. a doll. Thank you so much. I'm very pleased. Oh, I'd like to meet your husband. Oh, here is my husband. Kenny Hans, how do you do? I'm Robert. How do you do? This Robert Kenny. Kenny, nice oh. to meet you. I, I know you're thinking, Kenny, you are the lamest journalist ever. Why are you sucking up to that Muppet and the fucking Crypt Keeper? Well, guess what, losers? That guy is a fucking bajillionaire. He's the type of dude who will pay me a million bucks to jerk him off while I'm fucking his wife, okay? So fuck you. I wanted his wife to be like, oh, I like that guy. Let's keep him. Let's keep him, Harold. And I, I would just, I swear I would live in a cage in a, in a Dalmatian skin suit with a with a ruby collar and I'd like ruck, ruck, ruck. I'd do anything for that guy anything for money anything anything kill my mother I would kill my mother I would kill my mother for that billionaire I swear to God I'd take a knife and I'd stick it in her fucking head and then I'd chop off her head like some ISIS soldier for a million dollars half a million dollars honestly if there's like uh, if there's a suitcase with like 75 grand cash US and I'm not even joking I swear to God this is true I would kill my mother if that billionaire dude said do it I swear to God. Well, that's it. Florida primary's done. Rubio, Bernie, pfft, losers, crushed. Hillary and Trump on their way to the White House, possibly. Uh, this has been an unbelievable, epic, historical adventure. I can't wait to see what happens next.